Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add bundles on your Shopify store. Uh, so this is going to be done through the Shopify bundles app and this is a completely free app available and developed by Shopify directly themselves. So again, you can trust that again, it is developed from Shopify themselves. So it is a completely free app to add to your Shopify store. Of course, adding bundles can be a great way to mix and match different products and increase your app overall average order value with Shopify bundles. So that's what we're gonna be diving into here in today's video. Again, how to offer those like product curations and discounts to sell product bundles on your Shopify store. Uh, now, before we dive into things, of course, I do wanna mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, then why are you watching this video? No, of course, you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take it right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, that's that first link down below in the video description to sign up for a free trial to Shopify. And without ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. So of course, the Shopify bundles app. Now to access this, you can either search for it directly on the Shopify app store, or you're going to want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify store. You can go ahead up here and search for the Shopify bundles. Uh, and then you'll see the Shopify bundles app. It will also link out there as well. Um, so you can see free plan available. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install the Shopify bundles app. Uh, so of course you want to make sure you're logged into your Shopify store. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click install. Uh, and then it will install the Shopify bundles app. Now I would recommend also going over here and pinning this to your navigation. Uh, once the installation process is done, as you can see, it's reloading the page, um, it's installing the Shopify bundles app. We're gonna go ahead and pin that there. Uh, so again, enabling certain features in your store may prevent you from selling bundles. So do bear in mind, you know, the Shopify bundles compatibility. Um, so we're going to go through the eligibility requirements. So this is just making sure, you know, make sure, um, that, you know, you go through here if you have any problems, um, in case, you know, if you're not able to do certain bundles, uh, that is the Shopify help link. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a bundle. Now that we've added, uh, the app to the store, we're going to go ahead and create a bundle. Again, this is grouping products to sell them as a bundle to offer more value to customers. So we're going to go ahead and create a bundle. Uh, you can call this like a t-shirt bundle. Uh, we're going to call this the um, uh, clothes bundle or something, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, you have a lot of different components and ways you can go about doing it to select the products. So we're going to do maybe a beanie, uh, jeans. This is maybe like an outfit bundle, I guess, uh, a shirt and uh, some women's pink pants. Yeah, uh, there we go. Um, uh, maybe, maybe skip the pink pants. You know, we got the shirt, jeans and beanie. Uh, I think that's a, a full outfit there. Uh, so we got shirt, jeans, and beanie, uh, as you can see, um, labeled in the store. Um, so add quantity is an option. You can also add the quantity uh, if you do want, you know, certain quantities available, like one or two shirts in the bundle. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, reset that uh, there. Edit the quantities, and um, we're gonna just leave it as the one uh, quantity because um, we don't necessarily need two options there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and then get rid of that uh, quantity. We're gonna just go back and add the uh, product here for the shirt. So now we have, again, the beanie, jeans, and shirt. We're gonna click save and continue as the closed bundle. Um, you, know, you can have up to 30 different bundled products at a time. Um, so do bear that in mind. We have the closed bundle. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add a description. So this is like a separate product listing for the bundle uh, because you have all of the bundled products. So, you know, this is a separate product listing. Uh, so do keep that in mind when you're sharing links or adding it to your store, adding it to collections and things like that. Um, you know, this is like a separate product in a way. Uh, so we have the closed bundle. We're going to go ahead and generate some text here. Uh, clothing bundle product I don't know something like that we're gonna go ahead and click generate um, boom uh, you can obviously go in and edit that however you want you can also add custom media here like images videos things like that you can also set a certain category uh, so we'll just do apparel and accessories 
Uh, and then we also have the pricing. So just like any other <clears throat> traditional product on your Shopify store, you can set the pricing, compare at pricing as well. Uh, so maybe, you know, normally this, this product would cost you $200 total if you were to buy all the items separately, but because you're doing a bundle, you get to save like 50% off on the, the combo of clothes or something like that, right? You can set, you know, your cost per item, profit margin, thing like that, if you want to do that there. Uh, you also have your inventory, shipping, um, additional meta fields. Not going to be getting into variants and meta fields here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and then save the bundle here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make it active. So we can save that and make it active. So now it is active on the online store. And we're going to go ahead and preview this here. Uh, on the Shopify store now again because I have not added an image it will just show closed bundle you know 105 USD on sale instead of 200 uh, and people can you know go in add this product to the cart uh, and that will be the clothes bundle item uh, now if you want to make it a little bit easier for people to see obviously I would recommend maybe going in and like Photoshop or something uh, and adding an image with all three of the items labeled so that it actually makes sense, um, you know, for your customers when they go to purchase a bundle. Uh, like, as you can see here, this store uh, that they have available on the Shopify uh, bundles app store, as you can see, uh, they listed like a custom image with all three products in that image. So I would make sure you go and do some either some custom product photography or just go in in Photoshop or something like that or Canva and put all of the image put all three of the products that you have in the bundle on that image so it actually makes sense. Uh, and you know, you make sure you just add that information, especially the images um, with all three so they can actually see like what the bundle <laughs> means. So again, we created that fixed bundle there um, through the product. So, you know, you can see I increase average order value. Um, so we're gonna go back to the Shopify app. So we have added uh, this bundle here. We're gonna go back to the bundles um, again, this bundle is available, but you will need to make sure that you add the image. It is a separate product link, so you can easily, you know, access it uh, from your product catalog. So as you can see in the regular catalog, it does show up as a separate product, uh, as you can see as the closed bundle and it's on sale um, there. So you do have that bundle that you can link to directly uh, on your Shopify store. Uh, that it will show up. So as you can see here in the bundles, we currently just have the one bundle. Um, that's pretty much it as far as adding bundles to your Shopify store. It's a pretty simple setup. You view it in your product list and you know, you'll have your bundle uh, available there. Now, if you do want to add like multiple uh, variants and things like that, you do need to go back to the bundles um, app and then actually like go into the bundle specifically uh, if you do want to add quantity or duplicate certain products or remove certain products from certain bundles. Um, there are limitations on bundles as well um, as far as the how many you can do within a singular bundle. You have up to 100 variants uh, per product you have, you know, uh, and up to 30 bundled products for a singular bundle. So that's pretty big limitations honestly like i wouldn't see most people really necessarily running into that depending on what your setup is you might um, but that's pretty much it for the uh product bundles it's a pretty easy way to go about setting up bundles in your store again you can add the pricing there uh, and if you just want to add more bundles so you just keep adding bundles uh, i would just recommend you know like a custom image um, so that it actually makes sense for your customers, sort of like how they have it set up here. Again, if you do have multiple different variants, like uh, 100 mil, like different items, like as you can see in the shampoo example, you can easily add that too as well. Um, in this case with the clothing, like you're, I don't have multiple sizing uh, listed on that those products, so it's just a single one-off of each. Um, just to keep things simple for this tutorial store. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the Shopify bundles. Again, it is a very simple app and it is available for free, uh, directly developed by Shopify. So again, it's a really easy way to add bundles to your Shopify store. Um, 
and you know you can do with the, what you want as far as linking it anywhere it is a separate product on your shopify store so again guys i hope you found this video helpful if you don't already have a shopify store you can go check out that first link down below in the video description that's brennanvaleski.com forward slash shopify so take it right over to this page here we can get started with a shopify free trial again guys if you found this tutorial helpful on shopify bundles or really just discovered this app through this video you know go ahead and smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video but anyway guys that is is all for today's video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.